find out what you really want to do and do it. And the secret of doing what you really want to do is do less of what you don't want to do. This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good morning, good morning, a Florian Hornick. Previously, episode 1522 of the 12 Minute Convos podcast. It's been just two years, two months, 17 days, and 30 minutes since we last recorded that conversation, plus or minus a few minutes. That was then. This is now. Florian, how are you doing today? Hi, I am doing fabulous. It's such a grand opportunity to connect with you. Tell us, like, how have things evolved? The last time we spoke, the podcast was kicking, right? You were going to the Sahara Desert once a year, right? You practically transformed the entire you by decisions of what looked like and sounded like decluttering, right? Getting Mm -hmm. rid of stuff. So how have things evolved? What's up? I decluttered more. (laughs) How are you? I'm great. I appreciate that. I appreciate you asking that. I'm great. That's perfect. Yeah, well, um, I have been following you and um, saw that there was a lot going on in, in the Caribbean. And I'm uh, quite sure that you have another another baby boy by now. I do. Yeah, um, an amazing, amazing guy. Yes. And um, for me, uh, last time we talked, I had a, a lodge in, in Zanzibar, which was giving me Uh, quite a lot of flexibility because I did not have to be there as there was a management team in place. And, you know, sometimes in life things happen and my business partner went well crazy and that's not a good thing to happen Mm. if you are living in a country where you can bribe police and officials. So there was a lot of struggle going on and, Mm. well, I'm technically still the owner, but... The lodge is occupied and I haven't put my foot there for the last, well, almost two years. So that happened uh, right after uh, after we talked the last time. Mm. So it gave me the opportunity to sit down and ask myself, what do I really want and what holds me back and what not? And sometimes it is time to let go mm. of things, of habits, of thoughts and um, I had the opportunity to start all over, which is, well, which is misleading because I don't have to start all over because of all that I learned in between. So I'm having a head start com- compared to the last time. Mm. So I'm still doing my coaching. I'm still going to Sahara. But by now I am not uh, only giving uh, the opportunity for a vacation in Zanzi, but but we are organizing custom tailored Africa experiences. So mm-hmm. in Sahara and in Tanzania, Safari, Kilimanjaro and Zanzibar, which turned out to be, well, a wise decision, just that it wasn't a decision that happened by accident. Mm-hmm. I think it's always good. Yeah, it's simplicity, isn't it? It's coming yeah. back to that core, those three Looking words, forward. simplicity of happiness that you spoke about. Yes. Isn't that accurate? Yes. It's not the complicated things. And when you get caught up in too much to do, then me and I suppose many, many of us and of you listening, you get caught up into a daily routine and you do one thing after another because, well, you have to, don't you? Mm. And when you get rid of this, all of a sudden you can ask yourself, what is it that I want to do? What is the impact that I want to have? And what is the person that one time I want to have been? And I think there's a a lot of power in that thought, if you put it that way. You said that before you left our episode, our conversation two years ago. Mm -hmm. Find out what you really want to do and do it. And I think waited in that statement (sighs) is so much time because the finding out does take some work because it feels as though at one point in our life, most of us as humans, we turn away, we rebel, if you would, from the us, the person that we are. Have you seen that a lot? Well, 
I by now I am I I, cha- I changed the meaning behind that sentence a bit. It's still find out what you really want to do and do it. And the secret of doing what you really want to do is do less of what you don't want to do. (laughs) Mm. Um, Because our time has uh, 24 hours each day for every single person. So there's no person that has more time than me or than I do. But the very specific um, change that I made for myself is not, so if I take it into a coaching situation, it's not so much what is it that you want to do today or tomorrow, but what is the person that you want to have been one day. So if you look if you look back at your life, so mm. you think about the future, 50 years, 40 years, 50, 60 years, whatever you think it might be for you, and looking back, what is the person that, well, that was you? And this is not so much about the individual things that you did, but more about what kind of person were you? What friends did you have? What is the underlying story and when you have that vision in mind then it is so easy to find out what you want to do that brings you there Mm. and what you don't want to do because it's just leading you to the wrong direction a coach presents a voice an audible voice that identifies within the client that you're working with questions that they may have that may have been buried you, Florian, have a voice that you respond to amongst all our other voices that are there. There are just a ton of voices outside of you, and it feels as though there are many voices within you. How are you able to train yourself to discern which voice to listen to? Well, number one, don't listen to the voices outside of you because they are countless. And everything in your control lies between your ears. Everything outside, every other voice, every other expectation is a cultural or society expectation. And this is what other people want you to do for them to what be happy, function, be less disturbed. So focus on your inner voice. And the moment you calm down, the louder the inner voice gets. So if you want to listen to it, it's not about doing a lot. It's not about thinking a lot. It's about being calm, seeing the most beautiful sunset with your best friends, going on a voyage by boat, being out in the mountains for a day or two with not too much distraction, but everything around you moving in the speed of life not in the speed of internet traffic or engines, but by the speed of life. So the fastest thing you see is a bird. Mm -hmm. And then you slow down and you are more able to listen to your inner voice. And there is very often something that we ought to do, that we should do, which should be right. And Mm -hmm. we know this is the right thing to do. And then we have a feeling which is often referred to a gut feeling. And that gut feeling, that is really you. Mm. For me, I found out I found out about a compass in my life. I think, I believe that we have a soul. And I believe that my reason to be alive is for my soul to grow. And it grows through, through experiences. And I have a son I haven't seen for by now over two years now mm. because of decisions other people took. And... Well, I can't change that. And instead of being sorrow for this, I ask myself two questions. When I am about to do something, will this help my soul to grow? And once my son will find out about, will he be proud of me? Hmm. Amazing stuff, my friend. Yeah, and this is so much, it is so much softer than all of the clutter going around. But when I listen to this, to my own question, I get goosebumps and I know this is the right thing to do. And then it becomes easy. And I'm very sure that if you sit down, you can, you'll find your own compass. Hmm. And you can narrow it down to one or two questions. Each one of, the, of us 
has these. And sometimes it's okay to do something on the road, that's like on a journey. Sometimes you have to stop by, sometimes you have to pause, sometimes you have to eat and drink, sometimes you have to stay overnight. But you still know the direction that you're walking in. And what I see in my coaching is very often that people are lacking the direction. They don't know where they are going, so the response is to go faster. But going faster in the wrong direction won't bring you any closer to your goal. Hmm. You go further from it, yeah? Faster. Yeah. Florian, my friend, it's such a grand opportunity, I tell you, to chip in here, to have the access, to be able to call and find out that you've not given up on your journey. Of course, it has evolved, but you've not given up. That is both motivational and inspirational, my friend. For those that are listening, yeah. the best place, happylife.coach, yeah? Is that the best place, Florian, at happylife.coach to connect with you? Well, I told you, I simplified even further. Yes, you will still find me, um, but everything I do is now um, combined under the umbrella of the simplicity of happiness because I think that's bringing it to the core. If you go to happylife.coach, I just I just like the URL. It's bringing you directly to my about page, so you will find out about me, and then you can click further. You find the podcast there. You find the blog there. Wonderful. find the seminars there. So simplicityofhappiness.com. Yes. And if it's easier to remember, the happylife.coach will bring you to the same goal. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Just another message. Yeah. All right, Florian. Well, Thank again, you. a great pleasure, a pleasure I treasure. Before we leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Nothing except for the wish for you to keep searching for your compass. And trust your gut feeling. Florian Hornig, folks, again, a pleasure I treasure. Thank you for being on what is inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. This podcast is produced by PodEdits. Visit podedits.com for professional podcast publishing. 